7.62 by 39 is one of the strongest platforms in the game when it comes down to penetration, also damage. So let's get into some of the best builds for this ammo and also some of the recommendations that you need to know when choosing the right attachments for you. So it used to be that the AK-103 was better than the AKM and the AKMN in pretty much every single way. However, now it, with both meta builds side by side, what you'll notice straight away is that the AK-103 has considerably better ergo at 65 compared to 55 of the AKM or the AKMN. However, you'll notice as well though, the recoil is actually much worse on the 103 at 59 compared to the 48 of the meta AKM compared to 141 on the 103 of the 114 of the AKM. So this is all down to the new different muzzle adapter. This thing here, the Kiba Arms 308 muzzle adapter, because it only goes on the older AKs, not the newer ones. So the newer ones are actually stuck with the JMAC being the best that they can get. And so because of this, the AKMs are much better lower recoil guns, but the 103 is definitely the better budget option for good mid-tier stats. So now that we know that the AK-103 is the good mid-tier to budget option, I'm going to show you guys two quick builds to show you what I would run with the 103, which is personally one of my favorite mid-tier builds. What I would do straight away is I would go ahead and buy the J-Mac and put it on the end. Now, the J-Mac is cheap if you could buy it from traders, but from the flea market, it's quite expensive. So if you don't have this unlocked, another option would be the SRVV and put that on the bad boy there, right there. If you can afford that, generally that's much cheaper on the flea. When it comes down to the handguards, we're going to be sticking with the Trax. I think the Trax 1 is an amazing handguard. You can also go ahead and put this bad boy on here, the Monstrum Tactical Foregrip straight away. So that goes on there without any sort of worries of needing a different handguard. Or you can go ahead and use the Sig Sauer Vertical Key Mod Black. This thing here as well is actually a little bit better. And this also goes immediately on without the worry of rails. So once we're done there, we're going to change up the dust cover to the Bastion. To put the Bastion on, you need to take the iron side off and then switch up to the Bastion dust cover. Now this bad boy here will actually give you the option to mount any scope that you want. But if you do want to save a little bit of money, you can actually use the dovetail mount on the side of the AK. But what I would recommend is sticking with the Bastion anyway, because it gives you way more options in terms of scopes that you want. If you want to stay cheap and with this build, you can use the Crochet. Or you can go ahead and use the Valde PK120. This scope here is really, really cheap and also quite effective as a nice high scope that sits above the muzzle flash. When it comes down to pistol grip, you don't really need to change much. If you do want to spend a little bit of extra money, you can go ahead and use the Tapco saw. The best part of the 103 is when it comes down to the stock, you don't need to do anything. You can simply just put on a butt pad and you're good to go. Now, this entire build here is actually incredibly cheap, but it does come with a considerable recoil at around 74. But that is definitely manageable, especially if you go crouched or prone. The best thing about this build is this entire thing, including mods, is going to cost you 87,000 rubles, which is absolutely sweet fuck all. It is incredibly cheap and also really effective for the price. Now, if you've got a little bit of extra money, you can take this build to the next step by using the CMRD. This thing here is actually weirdly cheap. It used to be a meta handguard, but now it's not. So we can go ahead and actually do the same thing. We can use the Sig Sauer grip and put that on there without needing to worry about a mount. As well as the fact that the handguard looks good and is generally quite cheap. If we want to splash a little bit extra too, we can go ahead and use the JMAC if you can afford it and you have your traders unlocked. And for this point, I would go ahead and change up the scope to something that I would prefer like an XPS. But just for the sake of reason, if we do not include parts and we look at the total price of this build, what we'll notice straight away is if I get rid of owner type traders that we can get the CMRD for around 34,000 rubles. And I know that sounds like a lot, but this is negative 4% recoil with 10 ergo. And it also helps with the heat and cooling of your gun. And it also kind of looks good. So you can get this entire thing all together here, not including the stock, around 120,000 rubles for a 103 that also has much better stats than the original one. All right, so we've looked at budget, we've looked at mid-tier. Let's look at an upper-tier build and something that I would run personally since I have max traders. This build in general is actually a little bit more expensive, but bear with me. We are going to be changing up to the AK Kiba Arms 308 muzzle adapter. As soon as we change up to the muzzle adapter, we have a wide variety of different options that can go on the end. Now, one of the first things that I would do is I would change it up to the blast mitigation device, and we can go ahead and put this bad boy on and then the Lantac Dragon inside of that. 
And what you'll notice is the recall is already considerably lower than it was before. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the dust cover and I'm also going to change the handguard. Now the B30 is a really nice handguard, except if I had max traders, I would be using something like the VS combo. This one has really good ergo and also stats across the board. And since I can buy all the parts, it's generally pretty good. All right, so if you have max traders and you can buy everything yourself, one of the best grips in the game is actually the Stark SE5 Express. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that thing on the front here. So when it comes to dust covers, there's plenty of different changes that have happened. One of the best originally is now the best again, and this is the AK Fab Defense. This thing actually gives you considerable ergo and also recoil reduction. So we're going to go ahead with this one here today. Now I can go ahead and keep the pistol grip as the saw or we can change it up to the RK3 as generally you can buy the RK3 around this point. If you can't, then don't worry about this next bit. You can even use something like the Magpul Mo as this has the identical stats and looks a little bit better. When it comes to different stocks, we are going to be settling with the Zukov S here today. And what you'll notice straight away is that this gun is already looking considerably better than it was before at around about 53 recoil over 125 and that is very 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 nice you can also splash a little bit and change the charging handle if you want you can get about three ergo out of the css charging handle which is pretty good this entire build comes in at 69 ergo nice and also comes with 53 vertical and 125 horizontal now this entire thing is actually really really clean but it is going to cost you out of the ass depending on what you need to buy now, this entire build, if you go owner type traders, will set you back for around 194,000, including the gun, which isn't actually so bad. Last but not least, let's look at the meta build for the AKM. So we're going to be changing up the blast mitigation device to a suppressor, weirdly enough. We're going to be changing up to the KAC QDC muzzle brake kit. Now, this one here specifically is the best one. There is an identical one that it takes above it, but this one here, the silvery looking one, is really really good stats and weirdly enough better than the blast mitigation device once again we're going to put the prs qdc suppressor on top of that and we've already cut down the recoil now we're looking at the different handguards i did tell you guys to use the vs combo as it's really good but we are going to be changing up here to the ak troy as this is currently the meta handguard still in the game putting on the 4.2 inch guide we can change up to anything we want I'm going to be sticking with the Stark SE5 Express, as I believe it is the best currently. Now, when it comes over to Dust Cover, we are going to be sticking with the PDC, as this thing is still the best, keeping the charging handle on for that little bit of extra ergo. Now, the pistol grip is going to go to a different one here, and we're looking at the AK Customs Arm AGS Pro Sniper Pistol Grip. Now, this build here is literally it. This is all you need. This entire build comes to 50 vertical recoil and 119 horizontal, which is pretty nuts. And decent ergo as well, around 53, which makes it very usable while being a suppressed weapon. Now, the only downside of this is that a lot of the time you are going to be paying a lot for these parts. We can see someone's charging about 89 or 90,000 rubles for this uh, particular muzzle brake kit. As you can't buy them from mechanic because people are buying out the stock pretty much instantly so you are going to be paying a lot for this meta build but it is incredibly good it's going to cost you this entire build is going to cost you about 276,000 rubles for absolutely every single part if you can buy them yourself which is a lot guys but considering 7.62 is amazing and really strong this is a really really good gun as well gives you the ability to keep using the ak platform but, you know, when you start getting into this sort of money territory, you may consider running a mutant instead. Hey guys, that's it for this video. If you guys are still confused on any of these builds, remember there are screenshots of every single one featured down below, as well as a link to my Twitch if you guys want to come over and ask me anything about any of these builds or catch me running some of these live. If you guys enjoy this type of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. As always, I will be working on build guides for absolutely every single gun. If you guys want to know some of the meta builds and also some of my thoughts on some of the different types of guns and how they stack up, I'll be making plenty of build guides in the future, so you don't want to miss out on those. Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.